So here we are at EAA AirVenture, and Sling Aircraft has pulled off another one of their amazing adventures, and they have flown three of their brand new Sling High Wings all the way from South Africa to Oshkosh, Wisconsin for AirVenture. So the adventure of the flight around, uh, halfway around the world, uh, is quite a feat in itself, uh, but to do so in three brand new aircraft is, is simply amazing. Uh, so they went nearly 9,000 miles from Johannesburg all the way to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, uh, with one of the legs being a single leg of 2,100 nautical miles over the ocean, uh, which is just uh, an amazing feat uh, to do in such a small aircraft. So the specifications everybody wants to know. Uh, it comes in two configurations. It has a tail wheel and a tricycle gear. Uh, it runs on the Rotax 915 engine. Uh, better than a thousand pound useful load, obviously depending on how you equip it. Um, the uh, takeoff distance is about 770 feet on pavement. Uh, not exactly a stole aircraft design like the, the new Vans RV15 is shooting for. Uh, more of a cross-country platform in, in my estimation. Uh, but I, the tail dragger certainly looks like it could be rough field capable, if not actually a stole aircraft. So the, uh, the cruise speed is 145 knots at 9,500 feet. Uh, I think you'd probably could sneak up a little faster than that if you were up high uh, because of the Rotax turbocharged engine. Uh, the, uh, the endurance is eight hours, uh, gets you 880 nautical miles on a tank of fuel. Uh, I don't think I said the landing distance is 550 feet on pavement. Uh, so you've got a good, uh, good cross country platform. You can get a good, good bit of speed, uh, good range. It's a four seater. Uh, as you saw in that picture, you can load it up with uh, top shelf avionics. Uh, this one has a full Garmin package. Uh, it even had an oxygen system. So uh, full disclosure, I actually uh, have put in a deposit to purchase a Sling High Wing. I'm actually currently building a Sling TSI Low Wing, uh, if you aren't familiar with some of my earlier videos. Uh, the way that Sling is doing it is they're taking uh, deposits and then you get into line for production. Uh, right now, they've had such a huge uh, response to this aircraft. Uh, there are several years out uh, if you put a deposit in right now so uh, a very exciting platform and uh, but it's uh, you can order one it's just going to take you a little bit of time so if you're interested in the expedition that they took uh, going from Johannesburg to Oshkosh with these three new sling high wings you can go to slingaircraft.com and they have an expeditions page uh, this this company has done multiple around the world trips in their aircraft and it's just simply amazing. If you do some searches on YouTube, you can find uh, a couple of videos of their prior trips. Uh, they flew all the way around the world in a Sling 2, uh, which is a, a two-seater, uh, which is just amazing. Um, they did one flight, I think it was over 20 hours uh, over the Atlantic Ocean, uh, which is uh, woo, uh, not something I think I would take on. Uh, but anyway, they, uh, they have some really neat uh, trips to talk about on their website, and uh, please look them up uh, to see what they've done over the years. So as you can see from the pictures, there was a huge response, big crowds around the high wings uh, uh, for the whole rest of the week uh, while they were uh, in Oshkosh. So, you know, I, I think uh, they've really knocked this one out of the park. Uh, it'll take them a little bit of time to ramp production up. I uh, can't wait uh, to get mine, although I've got to finish my, uh, my TSI first. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to roll right from one into the other, hopefully. Uh, so anyway, a lot of excitement. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave the talking alone and let you just look through the rest of my pictures that I took uh, of these beautiful aircraft. Mm -hmm.